guys, so it's already almost the end of February. I haven't filmed a video in a really long time. I think when I said, you know, I'm going to make a video every week, um, I think I just jinxed myself, so I'm not saying that. But with that said, I do... I am going to start filming more. I'm going to start off with my February favorites, and I do have some new favorites, some new favorite combinations, and also some new favorite um, products that I can't wait to share with you guys. So I'm going to start off with face products that have been my favorite for the past month. Now you guys know I love the Chanel Vita Aqua, Vita, Vita Lumiere Aqua foundation. It's expensive. It's like $55, but honestly, I've tried so many foundations this past couple of months after I finished this that... I think this, I can truly say, is my holy grail foundation. It doesn't break me out. It's like the perfect finish for my skin. And I just overall really like it. I finished this and I actually went to the Chanel counter. And my color is 30 in this. And I think my mistake was because I went, had to go pick up my boyfriend. And we were going to go shopping. It was after a long day at school, one of my 8.30 to 5.30 days. And so I just quickly brushed on a layer of powder before I left to like just refresh my face. And the powder was too light. And so the girl was like, your foundation's way too light. You're using the wrong color. And I'm like, no, I really don't think so. She's like, you're, she like basically refused to sell me the 30 beige. She gave me the 40, which would have been a perfect summer color. But I'm really pale. I haven't been in a tanning bed in so long. And I haven't been self-tanning with Saint Tropez. So like I, I'm really pale for myself right now. And so she gave me a 40, which made me honestly look like I was trying to make up for my paleness by trapping on a color that's good enough for like an african-american person it just wasn't a good look it took me a while to exchange it i don't know why i just like delayed exchanging it just because i forgot it one day and then i just didn't have time to go to the mall but on friday or saturday i finally remembered to bring it and i exchanged it and the lady who actually sold me the 30 the first time i was like i told her the story and she's like you are not a 40 i don't know what she was thinking Overall, this is my favorite foundation, and I highly recommend it, um, and it's so cute. I know it looks small, but it's actually the same size as uh, every other foundation, or the majority of other foundations. But the reason why I told you, I guess, that story is because I wanted to go into how I was trying new foundations um, while I was waiting to pick up my Chanel one. I tried my sister's Dior, her Makeup Forever, and I actually really like the Makeup Forever, so I'm going to eventually purchase that one. But I saw an ad in, like, Cosmo for this. Uh, BB cream. It's the Olay Fresh Effects BB cream. And it's a skin perfecting tinted moisturizing cream. And mine is in light to medium. Now this is really good if you um, have like skin that doesn't really have a lot of issues. Like for me, I don't really have a lot of pimples. I'm kind of finishing my period, so TMI. But I did get some blemishes and so I haven't been using this. But on days when I'm just like, you know, going to school for one class and I've like I'm going to come home anyways. I just like throw this on and it's really nice. My best friend Kitty actually really liked it. It smells really artificial to me. It smells kind of like a watermelon lip smacker, which makes me not so much of a fan of putting it on my face, but I do like it. So now that I ramble on about foundation, I'm going to talk about my new favorite concealer and it's by NARS. Um, NARS used to sell concealer, concealer duos and this is one of the colors that was in a duo I got in like 2010 and the duo is still not done but I needed a new concealer and you guys know when you run out of your favorite makeup products like you just don't feel like yourself kind of like in the morning this is the NARS concealer and it's the medium one custard shade in the summer I'm definitely the ginger shade but this is just the perfect foundation for me uh, foundation concealer for me right now I use it under my eyes and on my blemishes I had a blemish on my skin it was like the spawn of Satan. It would not hide. It was like very powerful. And but now it's going away. So I'm very happy about that. But I really love this concealer. If anyone asks me what concealer I recommend, I would say this one. You get a lot of product and they have so many shades. They have it from like really, really pale alabaster skin to really, really deep um, skin tones. So I think that's cool. And then my favorite blush. You know, I've talked about it before on my channel, um, but it's the Benefit Dallas Blush, and one day I just used it because I remembered loving it when I first got it, and it's just this, like, dark, kind of, like, berry plum shade. It says it's, um, a plum powder, Dusty Sunset Plum Powder. Honestly, I think this is a really nice blush. I use it almost every day, and it just kind of gives you a bronze look without being like, oh, I'm wearing brown powder on my face. I would recommend it and this is the old packaging they've repackaged since but I have a lot of these benefit box blushes and they're definitely some of my favorite blushes just because of how long they last and also I think this blush is really good it gives you like a really nice kind of like Kardashian cheekbone so I recommend it and then for eyes this month I have a new favorite eyeshadow combination that I've actually been getting I've actually been getting lots of compliments on I just did it on a whim one day I remembered okay I 
have a MAC palette. Um, it's so old, it's like the old one, and it's my neutral palette, and I've dropped this thing so many times, but, um, it's like one of my favorite things to look at just because I love neutrals, and it's like all neutrals, and it's beautiful. Um, I have a color palette too, which I don't know why since I don't wear color really, but I have one. Um, but this is definitely my favorite palette, and I just think it's like really pretty. But one day I was getting ready, and for a while I really loved my Chanel... <sighs> that eye quad that everyone loves. Anyways, Mystic Eyes. I, I was loving my Chanel Mystic Eyes palette, um, but one day I was just like, you know, I'm going to switch it up. I think maybe, I don't know why I decided to do this, but I ended up choosing the colors Grain. It's like a, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. And I used the color Patina. Oh, you can't see it. Patina in my crease. Grain all over my lid using the MAC 217 brush. And then using the same brush, I swirled um, patina, and I got it on my brush, but instead of, like, doing, like, a whole big, let me see, maybe I can zoom you guys in, instead of, uh, I don't know, I just used it up here, if that makes any sense, like, I just, like, brush it up here, like, I don't, like, connect it or do an outer V, like, I just brush it up here, and I think that's a really good, um, way to do it for my eye shape. I find that sometimes doing an outer V really closes my eyes, but using that and just kind of making it kind of, not messy, but just kind of effortless, just looks better on my eyes. And the first day I wore it, one of my friends, Tristan, um, I was in class and she's like, whatever you're doing on your eyes, keep doing it. And I know she's going to watch this video, so um, she can vouch for it. That was some liquid liner and mascara, you're good to go. And speaking of mascara, I had the mascara month from hell because... This is my favorite mascara. It's the Clinique High Impact Mascara, High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara, and it's this thick one. There's another high impact mascara, and I actually bought this on purpose the first time I bought it, but I turned out loving it even more. And I lost my tube of it. It wasn't even finished. I don't know where it went. I don't know if my sister took it. I don't know if it's under my bed somewhere, um, but I lost it. And I was like, you know what? I am not going to go spend another like $25 on mascara when I have so many. Do you think I could find anything that gave me the same look? Like, everything just made it not clumpy. And this mascara is seriously my holy grail. It kind of reminds me of the Benefits Their Real Mascara. Because it has, like, at the tip, it's not just, like, flat. They have, like, the spikes so you can really get into it. And then it's just, like, a really big brush also. Like, my hands are small. And then, like, this brush is almost the size of my pinky. And, again, like, my, <laughs> my best friend Kitty, she loves it too. It just makes your lashes so big and voluminous and just overall it's just a really good mascara and I think that you should try it. And then um, I think that's pretty much it for like my uh, makeup favorites but I have a makeup remover favorite and I actually did a whole video about this a couple of, wow, actually years ago. I was in grade 10 um, so two years ago. Um, I did a whole video about this and it's on the Bioderma um, makeup remover. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I used this for a while and then I ran out and I guess I just didn't repurchase it because it is more expensive of a makeup remover. It's like $22, I think. But one day my mom was like, oh, I'm going to the pharmacy. Um, do you need anything? And I was like, well, I don't have makeup remover wipes. I finished my makeup remover samples. I was like, can you pick up a Bioderma for me? I got the last bottle, bottle, so there's a dent, but like it's fine. It does the same thing. Um, and I just use it with my Shiseido makeup cotton removers and it honestly takes your makeup off like like magic like you just like brush it on and like all your makeup's gone it's amazing and like it takes off makeup easier than any other makeup wipe I've ever used like I'll use like a makeup um, like wipe by like Neutrogena or whatever and I'll rub it on my face and you know it gets off the eye makeup really well but I don't feel like it gets off that much face makeup because nothing really comes off but then when I use this it's like the whole pad is full of like brown foundation and it just like really astonishes me. It, kind of, it cleanses too. I mean typically I do this before I get into the shower so I do cleanse afterwards but if I'm like really tired I'll just like go over it once and get the makeup off and then go over it again to get everything else off and just like to refresh your face and it feels so nice on your face so I really recommend it and I think they've come out with um, different versions like different colored caps and different um, I guess types of hair removers anyways those are my February favorites I hope you all had a great month thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and I am not promising any videos because I don't want to jinx myself but I will definitely see you soon